Hey, welcome everybody. This is game two of the 1969 World Series replay using History Maker Baseball. I'm using uh, fast action cards. It's Jerry Kuzman on the mound for the Miracle Mets against Dave McNally. Both lefties, so it's the Battle of the Southpaws. We're joining the action in what is a heck of a game. Top of the seventh. It's 3-1 to one Mets. And really, Don clendenin has been the MVP so far in this game. He's hit two home runs. Um, and the only run for the Orioles came on a Davy Johnson uh, home run. So the score stands at 3-1. to one. We go to the top of the seventh, and um, the Mets are leading it off. It's Kuzman, Agee, and Harrelson. Kuzman's 0-2. for 2. He struck out and grounded out. We're using fast action cards, as I said. 1-5-6. Ask me if the batter is a whiffer, and I believe the uh, I believe that the batter should be a whiffer, and I gotta look here actually. Whiffer, yes he is. Strikeout. So Kuzman swings through a fastball and he goes to sit down. And coming to the box is Tommy Agee. 134. That's asked me if he's a gold catcher. The side of that says no, he's semi gold. That's Andy Echebaron behind the plate. So it's a champion. Ask me if Agee's a champion. He is not. It's going to be outfield drama. I'm using the 2 4 right there. Outfield drama just to speed it up. Center fielder gold. Paul Blair is a gold center fielder. So he makes a diving catch of a line drive to rob Tommy Agee of a hit. Two outs now. And it's Buddy Harrelson. Four, five, six. Ask me if the batter is patient. He's a scrapper. He is not to fly out to center field. And that is going to be out number three. That's going to take us to the um, chemistry chart. And I'll tell you a little bit about that in a second. So after six and a half, it's three to one Mets. And Mark Belanger is going to be up, and he's going to be using the team chemistry chart. We're going to use the 2-6 right there for that. And it says batting team harmony. So they're lost yesterday's game, so they're dissonant. So it's going to be a no. Otherwise, it's a ground to the second base, so Belanger grounds out. They're just basically shocked that they lost game one to the Mets. I mean, because the Orioles are highly favored. They've got a heck of a lineup, heck of a pitching staff. They won 109 games. Mets are nobodies. They came out of the woodwork at the last minute and beat the Cubs in a, what was a tight race until the middle of August. And then the Cubs just fell apart. And somehow the Mets didn't stop winning, and they overtook the Cubs. They won the division. They swept the Braves, who had, an uh, again, were highly favored, and now they're in the World Series, which is the miracle. So Dave McNally, bottom of the seventh. Here's the pitch from Jerry Kuzman, two four six. Two four six control. He is control, so it's a comebacker. Kuzman feels his position, and that's out number two. Don Buford, who's 0 for 3, grounded out twice and flight out, leads it off. Here's the pitch from Kuzman. 6-6-6. Six, six, six. This could be trouble. Ace. That's a deep fly to right field. Back goes Soboda to the track. Makes the catch. And that retires the side. So Kuzman's ace quality comes through big time. Now we go to the top of the eighth inning. It's going to be Cleon Jones. Jones is one for three, grounded out to a double play and flight out. Cleon Jones. Here's the pitch from McNally. One four five. Struggler, no. One four five ground out to Brooks Robinson. Fires the first, one away. Next is Don Clendenin. Clendenin is two for three, hit two home runs and struck out. That's a three five six. Don Clinton's a righty, and this asks me, are they the same side? No. 
utility or sad sack when then is not utility. Oh wait, he's semi-utility. Sad die says he is. So utility sad sack is a ground ball to short. Belanger up with it. Throws out Clendenin. Two away. And it's Ronnie Swoboda. Swoboda has doubled his last at bat, so he's a semi-hot batter. He's one for three on the day. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Control pitcher. He's semi-controlled. The side of the die says he is. It's a comebacker. McNally grabs it over to first, and that retires the side. Three up, three down in the top of the eighth for the Mets. Now we go to the bottom half of the eighth. It's going to be Paul Blair leading it off. Blair is one for three. He singled in the one, two, three, four, fifth inning. Here's the pitch from Kuzman. It's a two, four, five. And ask me if he's a hero. He's a semi-hero. The side die says he is. That's line base hit for the leadoff batter, Paul Blair. This is the heart of the Oriole lineup. These guys can knock it out of the park for sure. Frank Robinson, Boog Powell, and uh, um, Brooks Robinson. Here's the pitch to Frank Robinson. Three, five, six. Are they the same? Frank Robinson is a righty, so they are not. Utility or sat sack? Nope. Three, five, six. It's going to be a single down the first base line. And on a three, runners advance two bases. So hustling over to third is Blair. And the Orioles have something going here. It's a three to one Mets lead in the bottom of the eighth inning. Nobody out and Boog Powell, the batter. There's some movement in the Mets bullpen right now. Tug McGraw, you gotta believe, is out there. Powell, good lefty hitter, good power. Had an excellent season in 69, as did a bunch of the Orioles. Steps into the box. Kuzman looks for the sign from Grody. He sets and deals. Say 266. Whoa, what does that mean? We're going to skip the first part. Run around first is thrown out. Um, I mean, the the I, I could call it the uh, Clendenin sneaks behind the runner and they surprise him. Right, I, I just don't know how many, how often that happens, and this could happen way too often here, at least once a game. That doesn't, I've never seen that happen. I mean, uh, not, it's very unusual. So, I don't know about that. I'm going to skip that. If there, was a, if there was nobody on second, I would say, okay, that's what happens. Leadoff batter. No, he's not a leadoff batter. It's a fly ball, shallow right field. Over Swoboda, he puts it away. So they retire Powell. 155 to Brooks Robinson. Ask me if Brooks Robinson's a home run king and he's a semi home run king. Let's look over here. That's a deep drive to left field. Back goes Jones to the track, to the wall. It's out of here. The Orioles have overtaken the Mets by a score of 4 to 3 in the bottom of the eighth inning with a three run home run by Brooks Robinson. Wow, what a comeback so far for the Orioles. And Kuzman wishes he had that pitch back. That's three RBIs. One, two, three for Brooks Robinson. And it's Davey Johnson with one out. 146. Flash. Kuzman is semi-flash. Decided that it says no. Champion. No, he's not a champion. It's a ground ball, second base. And Weiss is up with it for out number two. And now it's Andy Echebaron, who's 0 for 2 in a walk today. Pitch from Kuzman, 133. Is he a slugger? He's not a slugger. Fly ball, left field. In comes Jones, makes the catch, and that retires the side, but not before the Orioles make a dramatic comeback with a three run. One out home run by Brooks Robinson. They take the lead. Four to three going into the top of the ninth. McNally's still in the game, and it's going to be Ed Charles, Grody, and Walt Weiss, or Al Weiss. Sorry, not Walt Weiss. I think it's Al, Al Weiss. That's right. 
All right. This is last licks for the Mets to come back here in game two. 3-3-5. Three, three, Wild no sat sack. Ed Charles, a semi sat sack. Decided that says he was no. 3-3-5 three, three, is a single to right field. So Charles goes the opposite way, loops one in, drops in in front of the right fielder, uh, Robinson. And the Mets have the tying run on base. Now Jerry Grody, the batter. And we may grab a number and just try to bunt here, move him over to second base. Let's see if Grody can do that. Number's a one. And on an attempted bunt, safe at first, runners advance. The decided die is going to say whether it's a single or an error. Let's pull another card. Decided die says it's a single. So Grody gets an infield single on that bunt that nobody was able to, to field. And the Mets have runners on first and second. And nobody out. Walt Weiss is going to try to bunt. We're going to pull the card here. It's a five this time. And a five is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman who turns, throws to the second baseman, Johnson, covering. And that's a successful sacrifice. Three, four. We have a pinch hitter now, second and third. Infield's going to have to be brought in here for the Orioles. We have a pinch hitter for the Mets. And the Mets, let's see who they use to pinch hit. Well, you know what? I know Garrett played, but this is a lefty, so we need a righty. We need a righty, and most of the righties are playing today, so this is tricky for me. Let me look through their roster real quick. Let me look through their roster real quick. Um, half these guys have passed away, by the way. J.C. Martin, Rod Gasper, Art Shamsky. Art Shamsky was there, but he's a lefty. Ken Boswell, he's another lefty. It's all lefties. So we're going to have to bring in a lefty to bat, guys. Lefty versus lefty. There's nothing we can do. We just have lefties. We're going to win it, bring in Wayne Garrett. I know Wayne Garrett had three or four at bats, so Wayne Garrett's going to pinch hit for Kuzman. Pinch hitter Garrett. Right here. With runners on second and third. Infield is in for the. For the Orioles. And Dave McNally is on the mound. Here's the pitch. 236. 236 tells us double control, blah, blah, blah. No. Nobody has double control. Pitcher batting, no. Base on balls. Bases are loaded. Bases are loaded. And the Orioles are going to bring in their closer, Eddie Watt. Eddie Watt. What'd you say, Eddie Watt? Eddie Watt, and it's uh, eight and one third. Oh, point one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hits. Walks. Hmm. One, two, three there. Three walks. Strikeouts, one, two, three, four, five. Five strikeouts, he allowed two home runs. And now it's Eddie Watt. Eddie Watt's going to be a double ace, so he can actually get two outs here. So the bases are loaded. Wayne Garrett is at first base. Grody's at second, and Ed Charles is at third base. And it's going to be Tommy Agee. Let's see if we can get a pinch runner for the Mets. Pinch runner for the Mets. Who could it be? Who could it be? Who could it be? Let's 
semi-stoic. I'm not sure, so I'm going to just not worry about it right now. All right. Um, see, the Mets only lost one game, so that's what's tricky about this. It's, and they didn't make a lot of substitutions. So here goes. Base is loaded. Tommy Agee. I'm not sure who played it. Let me see if I can pull a, a pinch runner for the Mets here to put on second base. Uh, let me go one back. I think game four, maybe they use the pinch, pinch runner. Uh, yeah, they used Rod Gasper. Rod Gasper ran for the Mets, so we're going to use him as a pinch runner. Because game four was a close game. It was actually an extra inning game. So Gasper's going to come in. And then they used... Uh, anyway, we're going to worry about that when the time comes. Um, all right, so Gasper's running for Grody. So Grody's out. And I think Duffy Dyer is going to be the catcher, I believe. I believe Duffy Dyer was the backup catcher. I don't see him anywhere. Let's go back one. Okay, all right. Backup. Oh, Duffy Dyer did play. All right, so he's going to be the backup catcher because we're going to need a catcher. And we're going to need a pitcher as well. We're going to bring in, uh, you got to believe, where is he? There he is. And Duffy Dyer. These two guys are going to come in when the time comes. Okay. All right, here we go. Base is loaded. One out. Eddie Watt is on the mound to face Tommy Agee, semi-home run king, semi-whiffer. And the score is four to three Orioles. The Orioles came up with three big runs to take the lead in the bottom of the eighth on a three run home run by Brooks Robinson, the Brooks Robinson. It's great playing with these names. Anyway, so here's the pitch from Eddie Watt. Eddie Watt is gonna be a double ace, star flash control. Here's the pitch, two, two, five. Two, two, five. Ask me if Eddie Watt is a star. He is a star. So it's a ground out with the infield in. So I got to look at the infield in chart. So that's a little tricky here with the bases loaded. The lead die is a two. So infield in two. Bases loaded. Fielder's choice, runner out at home. Okay. So fielder's choice, runner out at home, 225, told me that it went to infielder of the choice. Okay, whatever, six. Shortstop, Belanger fires home, and it's a force on Charles. Runner is pinch runner. He's there. And, um, all right, so it's going to be a 6-2 Fueler's Choice, and that's going to be out number two. So Tommy Agee's on it first. That's going to be Bud Harrelson. Base is loaded. Tying run is 90 feet away in the pinch runner Gasper. Garrett is at second base. He walked when he pinch hit for Kuzman. And Tommy Agee just hit to fielder's choice, 6-2. Bases loaded. 4-3 to three Orioles. Two outs. Top of the ninth. The Mets are down to their last out. Here's the pitch from Eddie Watt. 124. Control. Eddie Watt is a semi-control. The side of the die says he is. That's a ground ball to Belanger. He flips to Johnson at second. And that is the ball game. 6-4. Force out. Ball game over. 
So the the Orioles win it by a score of four to three in dramatic fashion. Eddie Watt, point two, gave up no hits, no runs, no earned runs, no walks, no strikeouts, and it was three runs allowed by all by McNally, who is going to get the the victory, and Watt is going to get the save. The loss is going to go to Kuzman. He's going to be 0 and 1. He gets the L. Um, Kuzman went eight and allowed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven hits. I believe it's, I just saw two walks. None there, none there, one there. Three, three walks. Strikeouts. None, no strikeouts, no one home run, two actually two home runs, four earned runs. So it's going to be um, the Mets got nine hits. Holy moly! Couldn't do much with them, and the Orioles got seven hits. Neither team made an error. So the lines, the final line score here is Mets three runs, nine hits, no errors. The Orioles are four runs, seven hits, no errors. MVP of the game is Brooks Robinson with that three-run, one-out homer in the bottom of the ninth, uh, the eighth, off of Jerry Kuzman. He was one for two on the day with three RBIs, and that's going to be all she wrote for game two. So the series is tied. Series is tied at one apiece. Let's see if I can go for game three. I don't know that I can, but I will try. Take care, guys.